Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Uh, this is Shamshad Ali, Department of Technology, Sarit University. Today we are going to learn about the retaining wall and types of retaining wall. This is our week 11, and our lecture is 11 for the prep semester third year of BSc Civil Engineering Technology. You can access this lecture at porter.su.edu.pk. So let's begin to our today's lecture. What is mean by a retaining wall? Retaining wall is basically a structure uh, used to retain soil, rocks and other material in a vertical condition. As you can see in these both pictures, the first picture at the left side, you can see that the, this is basically a soil. Without retaining wall, it could not uh, attain the vertical position. So basically, the retaining wall can provide a vertical position to the soil, rocks, and other material. Hence, they provide a lateral support to vertical slopes upside that will otherwise collapse into a more nicer swamp. When there is no such retaining wall, the soil become uh, in uh, shape of a slope. Retaining wall materials. What will be the materials of retaining wall? Most common material used for retaining walls are wood sheet. As you can see in the in this picture, this is the vertical wood sheets and this is the horizontal wood sheets. Steel and plastic interlocking sheets, reinforced concrete sheets, precast concrete elements, crib wall and block walls, closely spaced in situ soil, cement piles. Wire mesh boxes, gabins, anchor into the soil, a rock mass, also known as the soil nail. Retaining wall. Basically, there are two systems used for the retaining wall. Other genetic structure can be classified to two types externally stabilized system and internally stabilized system. Externally stabilized system is further categorized into in situ walls or gravity walls. Gravity wall and in situ wall. Internally stabilized system is further classified into reinforced soils and inside reinforcements. The internally stabilized system is an advanced retaining system or the earth retaining structures but in the previous and the early ages there were only the gravity walls or in situ walls as you search uh, on the internet there will uh, only gravity walls in the 19s and in the 80s if you can see in this picture, this is basically gravity wall, cantilever wall, cantilever wall, reinforced soil wall, basement wall, bridge apartment wall, anchor bulkhead, and tie back wall. At the externally stabilized system, the soil could be retained by a wall through its weight. Itself While in internal disabilized system, the, there uh, will be the lack of tension in the soil. As in, uh, as in the concrete, the plain cement concrete, concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension. In the soil also have the same properties. Soil is strong in compression but weak in tension. So to provide tension to the soil, you may or you must install the reinforced in the soil. Call the reinforced soil 
or the inside and mouse Retaining wall, basically what is the function of the retaining wall? To retain the soil at a slope that is greater than it would naturally assume, usually a vertical or near vertical position. Basically the function of the wall is the only one to retain the soil beyond its natural position. As you can see that this is basically the backfill, this is the active which mean this is basically the earlier plan but providing such kind of structure like the retaining wall the earth can be retained at a vertical position without any failure this was the original ground surface so this type is uh, was cut up and the wall was made in this area is free for uh, uses like for the transport and for some construction so this is the main function to retain the soil the bake will with a vertical condition design of retaining wall the design retaining uh, wall must be able to ensure the quality the a overturning doesn't occur this is basically the overturning this is the original shape and the, the dotted one is the after the overturn. Sliding doesn't occur. This is basically the sliding. The soil on which the wall rests must be overloaded. This is basically the overloaded soil. The material used in construction are not overstress. Retaining wall. In order to calculate the pressure exerted at the point on the wall, Falling must be taken in account. Height of water table. What what for what will be the water table? At the area where we are going to construct a retaining wall. Nature and type of the soil. The type of soil uh, will be there in the backfill. Subsoil water movement. If there is so any kind of the water movement at this at the subsurface level. Type of the wall type of wall you are going to construct material used in the construction of the wall what type of material at the facing or at the, at the back of the material type of retaining wall so the first one is the gravity walls it is by the name it is clear the gravity wall there are many types of gravity walls such as the concrete massive gravity wall crib wall and cantilever gravity wall this is the gravity wall this is the semi gravity wall this is the cantilever wall and this is the counterfort wall retaining wall is basically the cement mortar and the cobbles in the early ages the uh, is probably you have seen such kind of structure that the soil was retained by a structure called the uh, gravity wall which have a massive structure made up of uh, masonry this is basically a stone masonry uh, cemented with mortar this is a plain concrete or stone masonry this is basically they rely on their self weight to support the bay. they can resist the lateral forces the active forces by its own weight massive gravity wall is uh, i have taken this picture from um, my one of my teacher uh, dr kaiser and uh, he snapped this picture uh, from somewhere so this is basically the construction of a massive gravity wall has been started this is basically the, the stone and here this is the mark so this wall uh, lies in the category of a massive gravity wall, often made up of mortar, stone, masonry, or reinforced It resists the lateral forces from the backfill by virtue of their large mass. These walls are very thick, so the flexure stresses are minimum, and no reinforcement is needed. This is the crib wall, another type of gravity retaining structure. It consists of the precast concrete members linked together to form a crib. 
the zone between the member is filled with compacted zone. This is basically made up of wood, but some type uh, is made up of precast concrete panels or boxes. And this portion, and this portion, and this portion, and this portion are then filled by a compacted zone. This is the cantilever gravity bar. Uh, this is basically the stem that involves concrete blocks, 12 inch wide concrete blocks, and this is the toe, this is the heel, the, the, uh, the enforcing steel, soil, and the large flexuses is the, the, the base of the stem, the enforced concrete. So, cantilever wall is made up of uh, reinforced concrete. Counter fort wall. As you can see that this is the wall, but the here this type of structure uh, differentiate this structure from other type of the retaining wall. This is basically the counter fort. These members are called the counter fort, so the wall is also called the counter fort. The gaping wall, the most common in the hilly areas uh, at the side of the rivers and streams uh, where they are installed. This is basically made up of the stone uh, wire mesh uh, made first the wire mesh is made and then it is filled with the stones and then it can form a gravity wall basically. It is made up of step by step. In situ wall. Different from gravity wall, there are many types of in situ walls such as the following sheet pile walls. Soldier pile walls and slurry pile walls. Sheet pile wall. First, a uh, steel sheet are installed. So you have tying wired steel pile driven to the ground using pile hammer, series of sheet piles, and a row from a sheet pile wall. It's usually necessary to provide later support at uh, one meter uh, or more levels above the ground that can be done using two ways. It is internal braces or tie back anchor. It will be uh, braced or tie back at the uh, back fit side. The most common type is a grouted anchor with a steel tendon. Steel tendon on the side and then it will be then it is, uh, grouted with cement. Grouted tie back anchor. This is the uh, this is the wall. Or the wall, this is basically the grouted tie big anchor. This portion, this is basically the, the yellow color, uh, has the uh, steel and then it is grouted. This is the soil, this is the sheet pile wall. Soldier pile walls, as you can see in this picture, first uh, the steel piles are installed in the at the center. Horizontally, concrete panels or wood panels were installed. Consists of a vertical wire plane steel members with horizontal timber legs. Often used as temporary retaining structure for construction excavation. It is almost used as temporary structure. Slurry wall. <coughs> this is the waste material, this is the slurry wall. First, it is excavated, then the slurry has been installed so it can form a wall made up of slurry retaining wall application where you can where the wall can be used so uh, it is also used but the main way is the metros and subways as you can see in the beer take a shower they dug and then they uh, install the retaining structure and after that they provide the slave so to resist the active earth pressure Now the geosynthetic reinforced soil segmental retaining walls. Geosynthetic reinforced soil segmental retaining walls utilize reinforcing sheets of a geograde or suitable wound geotextile which are attached to the fascia and are embedded <coughs> in a body engineered film. <coughs> Firstly, in the reinforced wall or the mechanically stabilized earth wall. <coughs> So three elements, basic elements, the facing which is made up of precast concrete, 
tenons light weighted then the reinforcing element almost used as a <coughs> geograde uh, in geotextile uh, steel galvanized iron steel having rough surfaces being used as a reinforcing element and the backfill soil firstly the reinforcement were attached to the facing then the backfill has been um, compacted layer by layer in the wall is being made the integrated nature of the, uh, the fascia and the abutting large body of reinforcing side thereby support thereby support they applied at force in this case the gravity component of the retaining wall is provided by the reinforced mass acting as monolithic unit so this is it for today's class hope you will learn something about the wall and the types of the retaining wall So, thank you so much. If you have any query regarding today's lecture, um, you can ask me at the portal at you that you do not take.